What's causing the delay? Good afternoon, Brad. Well, they said the delay was because they weren't able to make contact or connection with the towers on the island of St. Martin, but actually they are on board the plane now, and it's about to get very loud here because they're getting ready to take off. So we're being told to move. So while we do that, I want to show you what's on that plane. Two tons of emergency supplies. They look just like this. They are wrapped in plastic, covered in a gray tarp, all compact together and protected from the elements. Now, also on board that plane, you have 14 disaster relief team members. They are all heading to St. Martin to help those that have lost everything. When they get on the ground later today, they will immediately start to dispense supplies to families in need. They will have enough blankets, hygiene kits, and heavy plastic tarps that they'll use for shelter to help more than 2,000 people. Dave Holtzauer, who is going on the trip, says most of the team has covered disaster relief before, but that doesn't mean you were ever fully prepared. You never fully get used to seeing the, the damage and, and the loss that people suffer, but uh, we have a, a good team uh, that we are constantly in communication with. Um, we know that a number of people in, in churches and the communities are praying for us and, and the victims down there, uh, and so we were able to, to go down there and just work uh, very, very hard. Working very hard is right. Dave told me that they will be pulling 16 to 18 hour days. And at this time, they don't know how long they'll be doing that for because they don't know how bad the need is yet. He also told me that at this time, they don't know where they're going to stay and they will figure that out once they get down there. Once again, this plane is about to take off. So I'm going to send it back to you, Brad, because they need us to get off the runway. Absolutely. We'll let them.